Welcome back, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and today we're going to do a full body length side view of the Carcharodontosaurid Giganotosaurus. So um, <clears throat> I already did the skull but I erased it <laughs> and so just to give it, make it a little easier because I haven't done Giganotosaurus and oh, maybe this is my first time doing a silent. So I'm just going to make this probably a two part video because I'm not going to do it in pen because I don't usually do that for my side length videos. So, uh, let's begin with the head. So, I basically am just tracing what I had put down already. With an alter a little bit. So, you can see the huge cavities in Giganosaurus. I have, like, much different skull than, like, T-Rex or Velociraptor. Velociraptor, I don't know if you pronounce it different. And it's a much bigger skull than T-Rex, even though the skull was probably not as strong. And it probably couldn't bite down as hard as the infamous Tyrannosaur. I'm just going to put these little ridges. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm using a reference image of just the skeleton. So, I'm, so right now I'm just putting in a rough, rough sort of... I don't know if you can call it a skeleton. Yeah, I guess you could call it a skeleton of the, the Giganosaurus. And then we'll flesh it out and bring it to life. So the bottom draw is quite easy compared to that of, like, T-Rex. So you can just jot in some teeth there. I'm not going to put this into layer. And uh, it had, like, its neck wasn't as strong as Tyrannosaurus. This is neck either, but this dinosaur was much bigger, and it's Giganosaurus's skull was like massive compared to its body. It was like skull on legs. So I'm just doing the maybe his neck was a little longer. Sorry for that. <coughs> the neck is going to go up to there. The backbone's going to go up. Then have the hip and the tail. That's sort of a long, just an average size dinosaur tail. I think I can fit that on the paper. <coughs> I might, actually, no, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it on, but that doesn't. Tail, who cares about the tail? Nobody really. Uh, so I'm just going to scratch up. A little bit of arms, hands, and most hard part is the leg. So this is going to be in a running stance. So I'm just going to put in the thigh piece and the, the chin. <laughs> I don't know, what to call it bone. I'm not such an expert on all the different bone parts. So that's the feet, roughly what they're, where they're going to be. And just put a line to show the, where the ground's going to be. Then the other leg is going to be lifted up like that. And this foot is going to be raised in the air. Like so. Then they're going to finish up the pelvis bone, sort of like that, and just quickly put in some ribs, put in those little bones that are right there, the stomach bones. So yeah, this is the basic um, full body skeleton type thing of Giganosaurus, just put in the other hand there. <coughs> so now I'm just going to start um, flushing in the head, which will which will be fun. We can leave these little ridges up there because they look okay. Giganosaurus does not have that much like eye ridge as T Rex does. Let's put in the eye there. Like looking forward. And just put in a little bit of shading there.
I'm sort of cross hatching just to show that these um, cavities sort of sink into the skull a little bit. Let's put some wrinkles around the eye. Enhance the nose a bit. So the skull it doesn't really look that much different than the skeleton. Or skull, I mean. And fleshed out, it looks, doesn't look that much different than not fleshed out. You get what I mean? And uh, we're also putting on little scales. Well, I forgot to mention this, but you can use any pencil you want, as long as it leaves lead behind. I don't think it's made of lead anymore. It's made some substance, but it's called lead. I'm just using a mechanical pencil, just just the regular um, brand of all regular pencils. Cause I know some people use like fancy art pencils, but they're not really that necessary. Unless you're doing like a really big picture. But basically all you need to know is like how to push, where to push harder, where to press lighter. I just put in the skills. Oh, I'm just gonna be the ears right there. <clears throat> so yeah, this looking pretty good. As I told you already, the only reference image I have is a skull and um, skeleton. So this is basically how a first dinosaur artist artist is just um took the bones and drew them. That's still what artists do today. Just putting like a little bit, bit of scales to show that make it look more organic and more texture to it. Now I'm gonna work a bit on the bottom draw. I'm not sure if it looks too long. Maybe a tad bit too much. This is sort of like my um, time-lapse Crylophosaurus video, where I just t take a skeleton and flush it out. I'm going to put on the finalized teeth and uh, raise the slime. And, uh, it does have a cavity appears on the bottom jaw, so I'm just going to put that in. And just put a bunch of little scales around it, and then just put these on the lips, on <laughs> the rim of the jaw. Only humans really have lips, and then... I will just put in that squishy, whatever, last key muscle type thing <laughs> that allows the jaw to open and close. And then I'll just give it a little bit of shading. And then you guys can just put in your random scales. The scales just make it look more real, I think. <coughs> I won't draw the other side, but I want to make it an exact side view. So now I'm just going to start flushing in the neck. But in the vein. First I'm going to just erase the bones I put in the neck. I have a feeling this is going to turn out pretty good. Um, so, yeah, that's. I'm just going to put in this vein that I draw on most dinosaurs. Then just put in the rest of the neck. See, it's quite kind of a skinny neck compared to T Rex's.
but T Rex is up against armored prey. Jigmosaurus is probably just hunted um hadrosaurus or young sick sauropods. And that's what his teeth are specialized for. Let's put a baggy neck and then let's just put some lizard type skin hanging down from the throat. I think that looks cool. Makes it look more reptilian. A bit of shading. And uh, just put in some like curved lines to make it look a little more three dimensional. You can put stripes or little skin patterns on yours, but I'm just gonna leave mine like this. Because I'm just like looking at the skeleton and acting like. Just all I all I know about chicken stores is the skeleton, and so I'm just speculating what which are all art dinosaur artists do because they never saw a live breathing dinosaur. So chicken stores like right up to date right now is. Not sure the largest, but definitely a close second to Spinosaurus. I was reading the arm. But definitely the biggest um, carnosaur. Carnosaurs are the um. It's a group of meat-eating dinosaurs like Allosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus, Yangshuanosaurus, and just all those. Um, with basically all the ones with the steak knife teeth. Like Tyrannosaurus has more of road spikes opposed to steak knives. Which means it would be better for crushing bone. Okay, so <laughs> enough with me talking. Let's get back to the arm. So I think this arm looks pretty good. <coughs> the arm's not that big, but Slightly bigger than that of T Rex. I'm just going to color in the claws completely black. And just put a little bit of scales on top. Shade in the arm a bit. Just put in a little bit of scales along the arm. Oh, let's see how I'm doing on time. About well, 13 minutes, not, not that bad. I usually go slower when I'm just talk and talking and drawing. And I forgot to mention this, Jignosaurus did have a bunch of, like a ridge above its back, a slight ridge. Not that noticeable, but more than like a T-Rex would have, you would notice. So. And of course, if you have any different dinosaurs you would like me to do a tutorial on, or even just a time lapse video. You can leave that in the comments below. I'm just putting the shoulder blade like that. Just scale those in. Um, so, moving on to the stomach. The stomach is basically just shaped by all the other body parts. Jigmasaurus has a very big torso type area. So I'm just gonna, we can start working on the leg. Not strong leg muscles. T-Rex might have been faster than Genos or something, I don't know. Yeah, and no scientist nowadays say like T-Rex could do max 18 miles per hour. 
but probably young transfers could do much faster than that. Like juvenile transfers before they got so heavy. So I always struggle on dinosaur legs, so like hard for me to do. Just a race. I'll probably stop at around 18 minutes because I just need a break. And you guys probably need a break and then you can just look for part two. Which will probably be a separate video. Now I'm just gonna put in the teeth. I not teeth the the feet. <coughs> <coughs> Of dinosaurs. I know I've said this before, dinosaur feet are pretty challenging at first, but once you have drawn them like a thousand times, <laughs> then they become easy. Just put the padding under the foot. And the middle toe is always the longest in theropod dinosaurs. Um, yeah, I think the, I made the leg too human-like there. Try not to block that much. There, that looks better. Looks more dinosaurish. And, uh, about to put in that pelvis bone. Then I always shade pretty dark right there. Cause like I'm drawing this on like if the sun is just pointing straight down on the dinosaur. Therefore the bottom would be obviously darker than the top of the dinosaur. I'll do the other arm later. So don't think I missed that. <laughs> and I'll just put in this foot and then we'll be done for today. So uh, I will redo this foot, it doesn't look that good, but I told you 18 minutes would stop. So this is what our dinosaur looks up to date. <clears throat> Put a like if you like it and see you in the next video.